previously. So, one of the things I've recently been noticing is that enemies, especially in invasions, gather up here and refuse to get past because they can't. They can't jump over it and they can't come through here. So I was thinking for a long while and I figured I would put some uh, bricks here with actuators and wire it all up so that when an invasion started and when I, inflict, when I flick my um, invasion lever what would happen is these doors would open like that get out and the floor would become solid leaving a perfect passage for enemies to wander through at which point they can drop down there like he has and die but then I started thinking and I thought no I don't really want them inside my base so I've come up with a novel solution so I think for this all I'm gonna need is this I think maybe one or two pieces of wire and this flame trap and I think that is all I'm gonna need because if I wait out correctly if I put one piece of wire here dig that brick out put in the flamethrower obviously once it's painted it will look better but if I turn this on now it should add an extra layer of defense to my home defense system let's go across and look at the range on that if they try coming down these stairs, they get cooked. Once they're down here, if they can't get through, what do they like to do? Jump up and down, at which point they get cooked. Flying enemies will come down or maybe go up and get cooked. And if they don't get killed by that, eventually they'll turn around to try and leave, and they get cooked. So I think that is a good little thing. I never initially had any traps on this side, because I wanted... I didn't like the loot being everywhere. I like it all in one place, like with these traps they fall down the hole and then all the stuff is down the hole. Oh, here we go, perfect example. Look, I like to jump and just die. But you know what, it got to the point where I don't even really care too much about picking up loot anymore. So... It doesn't really matter if it's just left out, and plus I can always just walk out the door and pick it up, can't I? Right, so I want grey, I think. Please be right, I want to paint it the wrong... The wrong Claw. Yeah, that looks good. Nice, that's a nice little thing that I've done. One of my own suggestions there. Don't need a suggestion board for my own suggestions. I have my sticky notes, which I'll now address because that is now done. Mm, that's done. Those two things, again, I keep saying they're in a different world that I don't want to go to just yet. Uh, I could do that. Later, traveling merchant. We need to. Where is the traveling merchant? Damn it! So while we have night, because you know we can't really do anything at night, can we? Let's do one thing I haven't done in a little while. I said I was going to cut out on it for a while. I swear down, you guys. Shut your freaking. Shut the doors. Ah! They know how to annoy me. They really do. Right, let's go fight a Plantera, because it's been a while. Uh, one should be down here. And we can also check out... I can show out the mushroom farm, while the truffle worm farm, while I'm down here to give you a closer look at it, rather than just a map view. Right, we should be here any second. A goblin army is approaching from the east. Ah, <sighs> okay. Back out. Well, this is something. Luckily, I've now upgraded my place to be much, much more deadly. Goblin, Goblin Army is, interestingly, one of the only invasions, in fact, the only invasion that can ever hurt me. And the damage they do is so minimal anyway, it doesn't matter. But they, they can teleport in. So if they do that, they can damage me. I'm going to try and do this without ever fighting back. Where's the best place to do it? Down here, maybe? No, because he'll spawn underground. I think he's probably the best place to be. <laughs> Not for that guy.
Right, the goblin army has been defeated, there are probably still a few wandering around, but that's fine, it, the final wave is approaching, kill these guys outright and we're good. I think this guy might be the last one left, let's, I said I was going to do it without ever fighting back though, didn't I? Hmm, oh well, there he was the last one, right let's pick up all the treasure. And we can even check very shortly on how well our flamey trappity doodah thing that we literally just set up has worked. I can't do it that way. There we go. Out of here. Up here. Let's grab all this treasure. And then I can throw it all the way at the same time. I hate goblin invasions because they just leave spiky balls everywhere and they suck. They absolutely suck. I hate them. Right, grab all these. Oh, look at this down here. A nice big pile of cash. And even a weapon. Right. Get rid of them. There we go. Done. I don't like throwing stuff away, but I have stacks upon stacks of spiky balls. Don't need them. Right, daytime. Ah, oh, right. Okay. Two things. How did I just do that? Someone managed to glide through solid bricks there. Sorry, Walter, I did not mean to offend. Let's go show off the Truffle Worm Farm in close-up form, and then let's also... I thought it was another invasion. Okay, Romeo. Try to survive for a little bit, please. And then I'll come and visit you. Wherever you may roam. Romeo? Romeo? Wherefore art thou, Romeo? Seriously, buddy, where are you? Romeo? He's in, like, the main courtyard, and he stood next to a slime. He's gonna die before I get there. Ha! Oh, it's a bunny. Never mind. Oh, Walter! Oh! Walter, he's... No, leave him alone, Walter. Walter. I'm here. I'm watching what you're doing. You're not allowed yet. You cool off. You cool off. You leave him alone. A guest. Okay, so we do have something new, but nothing amazing. We have uh, some zebra skins. Sure. Give me 10 of them. No, give me 20 of them. Because I can. And then everything else I think I have. I'm sure I have a fez. Okay, Walter, do with him what you must. I no longer require his services. Put my money away. And what I'm looking for, Fez, is probably going to be in one of these. Yeah, I have a Fez. Just kill him, Walter. I don't even care. He sucks. Finally shows up, this, shows up after this long and just brings absolute trash with him. What a piece of crap. Right, so for the third time, let us go and... Look at this truffle worm farm, and also fight the one plantera bulb. That'll be down there. Fingers crossed we get the axe, and then I never have to bother with plantera again. It's one of the biggest things slowing me down at the moment, is trying to get the axe. 
one of the rarest drops. I know it's not the rarest, but one of the rarest. I still don't have it. And then, yes, I know that on the uh, PC, the drop rate is different. It's four times worse on the console than it is on the PC. So it's four times harder for me to get it. Right, we sh there should be one in here. Uh, but there isn't. Fantastic. Okay, get out. I'm surprised there wasn't in there, to be honest. Genuinely surprised. It's been long enough. Hasn't it? We've done loads of stuff. You butthole. Let me dig in my floor just to grab them. Oh well, there's a couple of sapphires. Stop it. A couple of sapphires to tide me over. Yeah, so I painted the flesh doll that I placed on this, and I think it looks really cool. I imagine a mushroom doll might look better, I don't know, but... It just... Look at that. I think that looks awesome. So, as you can see, the mushroom grass is glowing. Glowing and growing. I haven't put any... I can't catch them because up there. I haven't put any torches in this place because the mushroom grass and the mushrooms themselves actually grow, uh, glow. I cannot get these words out. Actually glow, so they won't need any lighting. I mean, look how bright it is in this place. It's not even fully done. So I'm just waiting for this all to spread. As you can see, I've put at every certain intervals, I've put gaps in so I can quickly access different portions of it. There's a regular worm there, not a truffle worm, but we'll take him, why not? Listen to that music! So rare for me to hear underground mushroom music. I don't. I can't tell if I like it or if it's just because I've I haven't heard it that much that it's sort of new and shiny to my mind. Right, let's kill this guy. Not collect any mushrooms, and then get out of here. Why am I on fire? Oh, who was? Did you see that with the sky? That's a sign of the end times, is that when it goes from night time to middle of the day within seconds. Right, we're going to make our way over to the beach. Beach? Over to the... Oh, uh, jeez, what's it called? The the desert is what it is called. I'm going to try and find an ant lion, hopefully. I want to complete something. I didn't think it would be too difficult. I didn't realise it required ten mandibles. That slime is forever trapped. So these mandibles are somewhat rare. Obviously I've only got nine at this point, that really says something. But combine that with the fact that I never really spend that much time in the desert, do I? So I've had no real opportunity to grab many. I genuinely think we may have to go to another world for this. Because this desert just isn't big enough. So I've done one thing on my list. That sucks. I thought I'd be a lot further through this list by now. Oh well. One more little trek over here and then what I'll do is I'll save and I'll quit. And we'll go to a brand new world and look for some ant lines there. Get out of it. Okay, fine. Main menu. Save and exit. And you never know, we might find... All kinds of stuff in a brand new world. Here we go. Create a large world. Call it this. 